I want to make it into a YouTube video as well. What if Bond United didn't, uh, didn't sell all their good players? So, you know, we bring back Andrew Robertson, all, all the good ones, Johnny Russell, and and see, and pick a different team and see how well Dundee United would go um, with, um, <laughs> without, you know, I mean, if they play well, can they be better than Celtic? We will never know. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Right, so let's see how good United are doing um, in January. Halfway point. <laughs> they're only se they're seventh. That's horrid. They've not even got a goal scorer in the top fifteen, bro. That's Chalmers is their top goal scorer with five. What about assists? Obviously Johnny. Johnny Russell's only played nine! Seagree says four for clean sheets. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to ask to get the job so I can choose who starts. I probably should. I pro. I thought it would be fair if, but they're obviously not starting the right players. So. End of the season. Probably not going to be that good. Probably not going to be the worst. But we'll check it out. I saw second for, and I was like, what? But. That's the bottom half, yeah, that's the bottom group, so... 8th place to finish isn't bad. Where did we finish in the first stage? Ninth. So we recovered well. How did we do in the Scottish Cup? Oh, we got beat in the final! That sucks. We put out Hebs, Aberdeen, and just couldn't beat Rangers. Ah, oh, manager rating going down the hill. Armstrong and McNulty were our joint top goal scorers. Russell, top most assists. Obviously, Sigrid with most clean sheets. Armstrong, Mc Armstrong with the most yellow cards, McNulty with the second most. And we didn't have a red card. Alright, so we're fifth in the, on the 1st of January. That's really good. Um, considering we, we finished 8th uh, last season, fifth is really good. I'm happy with that. But um, we're one point behind fourth. And. Uh, Four points behind third, so we can definitely sneak third, but oh, it's hard to see. Um, uh, so let's see goal scorers. We're not, we've not got a person in the top eight, but we do have someone in the top ten, and it's Armstrong with seven and twenty, which isn't bad. And then Shanko's got seven and fifteen, which is really good. In Russell five and twenty. Um, 
Armstrong still up there with the assists in uh, sixth. Um, Russell's also there. Fix is there. <laughs> what does Robo do? <laughs> what does Robo do? <laughs> Clean sheets. Seagreased is there. Uh, is fourth. Um, Shanklin's got the seventh most yellows in the league. Robo Minji, what do you do? <laughs> I mean, it's not bad, but you think an 89 rated left mid would do better in the Scottish League. Like, we can leave now. We can go to one of them and just get uh, one of the titles. I like it. I, I'm really enjoying being manager of United, but they need to make a uh, hangy, so I'll go to Rangers because don't hate them near as much. Right, so it's the end of season two, and I'm, I'm wondering what happened. So, Dundee United finishing fourth place, which I th think could be a European playoff place. So that's good. I win the league but got a 6 to 8 manager rating. Um, John Aerosol was D Dundee United's top goal scorer with 14 and 38, which isn't the best. Robbo really, really turned on the second half of the season and got 11 and 38. Shankland got 9 and 31, Armstrong 8 and 35. Assists, Armstrong with 6 and 35, Russell in 5 and 38, Robbo in 5 and 38, Shankland with 4 and 31. See Grease with most clean sheets in the league, you'll love to see it. Shankland with the most yellow cards for United. Let's check. Scottish Cup. Top score uh, scorer was a Jetty, so that makes me think that Celtic could have got to the final. Russell got third top. Robo got sixth. Assist, we got Smith, Ro uh, Russell and Douglas. All in the fifth, um, the fifth, fourth and third spot. Um, Seed Reese with the clean sheet, Shankland and Robo with um, the yellow cards, and there's been a red card against for Celtic. So could, could you, United got to the final but lost against Rangers last year? <sighs> could they have done it this year? I'm not going to look. I'm going to go back to the start. So. Round one, United aren't in it. Come in the quarterfinals and beat Kilmarnock. Come in the semi-finals and beat Rangers. No! No! How unlucky do you need to be? So we're in January to see how how we're doing in January. We've resurrected. United still aren't doing that well. Five losses now. <laughs> Again, drawn too much and not winning enough it seems. But and it looks like Celtic are back to walk in the league. Um. Yes, yeah, so United does sick. That's really not good. Shankland, third top goal scorer with 11 and 20, which is insane.
So, end of season three. Dundee United get a third place finish. I'd love to see it. I'm probably about to be sacked next season. But. Shanklin top goal scorer in the league. You absolutely love to see that one, big man. Russell with 7 and 37. Ain't the worst. Ain't the best. Assists, I want to see Robbo up there. And he's 14. Right. <laughs> Clean sheet, Seagrees with the most. So top goal scorer of the Scottish Cup is um, Cole for Marlow. Assess is McMullen. How's he playing? Could this be the year for the Scottish Cup I'm going to look away? United go, go out in round one to Hamilton. United go out to Hamilton! United third, we're fourth. United only United are still in a title race, but you know I have to be quick, so I'm a sim to the end of the season and get changed at the same time, isn't it? <laughs> so Alright, so this is the last season. Dundee United finished second. That's up. That's amazing for them. A uh, very good end to the episode. What about the Scottish Cup? Could they win a trophy? No. Get put out from St Mirren this time. Who had come Marnick? <sighs> Shanklin top goal scorer again. No, Nicky Clark was Dundee United's top goal scorer. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to edit this, which is gonna be a pain later. But yeah, see you next time in peace.